Hey, Brendan here. So I am looking at more and more just other builders and other CMS systems and things like that. So I'm not planning on leaving WordPress. WordPress is amazing. It treated me really well and I hope it grows, but you know, just trying to see what else is going on out there. And so today I'm looking at div hunt and div hunt is some new builder. It's kind of like a web flow alternative. I would, I would kind of imagine they've got some lifetime deals going on right now. Uh, that, end, that that end pretty soon, I think. They also are on AppSumo with the same price, actually, but it's on their website, I'm pretty sure. So um, anyway, they, they also have like monthly plans, but I'm just going to do the free plan right now, uh, which seems very, very generous. It's got 10 pages, 50 CMS items, 50 form submissions. Like, I don't know, it's pretty nice. You can bring, uh, add a custom do domain to it. So uh, shout out to Nick Arce, who told me about this. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to look at the free version today and we're going to just going to jump in and I'm going to show you a couple things. But what we're going to do actually is call a REST API directly in the builder and loop through some um, posts on a different on the WP Tavern website. Uh, so I'm just going to jump into it. So uh, I'm, I have a project here or whatever. I'm going to make a new project and just call it uh, WP Tavern. And what we're going to do is use an API call to render in a grid all of the content basically from their site from the blog so i'm just going to start from scratch here and before i get into the builder i'm going to hit open an admin and what i need to do is come over to browse applications here and do uh, install the rest api so i'm going to hit confirm and also there's like a cms collections thing here so i can install that we can check take a look quick look at that there's some other plugins here uh looks like I, they have GSAP somewhere, I think. I think it's, oh, they have plugins which are separate from applications. So they have some plugins here. Um, anyway, we're just gonna look at the REST API. So um, I'm just gonna start with the REST API. So I'm just gonna do a GET request and I'm gonna call this WP Tavern um, uh, blog archive, I guess. I mean, it doesn't, it's just like an internal name, uh, but you can have as many ones as you want. So. What we need to do is get the endpoint. So um, if you remember any other things about uh, the REST API with WordPress, there's this trailing uh, slash, uh, everything after the slash here to get the posts from that particular website. So you can see the data here rendered in my page, but we're going to make that more usable. So I will come back to the project here and I'll paste that into the endpoint. I'll come up here and hit just hit execute. And right here, I can see all the data. There's the post ID, there's the date of the publication, there's the slug, the content, all that good stuff. So our, our API is basically connected now. That's that's all we need to do there. I'm going to go back to the builder now. And I will, I guess, go to pages. We have home page. So I'll just make a new page called uh, blog archive. And, you know, if you've ever used Framer, it's kind of similar to that where you have your... Uh, you know, you can zoom in like that with like kind of like Figma. We have the different pages here, right? So that shows the, the slug here. And you can like edit stuff. And if you wanted to, we could make some dynamic uh, like blog single posts, but I'm just going to keep it simple right now. And so on our blog archive, let me click to make sure I'm on that page. Uh, I'm just going to add a, a random grid here. So I'm just going to use one of the predefined wireframes here and just go to like features. And let's just use like this one, drag that in. And so we have a, a little grid here. I've got my structure panel here. We've got grid and I've, if I open up a design tab, you know, you have grid options here, right? So I can, you know, whatever, add a column, remove columns, that kind of cool stuff. Kind of reminds me of quickly, uh, rest in peace. Um, but anyway, so what I'm gonna do is loop through these cards. So we, we see here, um, just our feature card. We've got our items within the card. And so uh, I'm gonna come click on the card and go up to the advanced tab here. And I'm gonna do select source and I don't see my REST API here. So I'm gonna make sure I refresh the builder. I don't think we ever refreshed. And so now when I click on the feature card and go up to advanced and source, I have my REST API. And so I can say repeat, yes. And that's gonna repeat. It's gonna grab the first 10 posts. That's why it got a little bit longer. And basically now you just uh, apply your dynamic data uh, in, into the items within the, the loop. So I'm just gonna uh, click on the image here, or we'll just start with the title. So I'll click on the title or the heading, right? 
and I will come up to uh, the settings here. And for the, the content of this element, I want to select this variable. And so it's not a CSS variable, it's uh, sort of dynamic data variables. And so up at the top here, I have, um, these are all my custom ones. And so that's from the REST API, right? There's a bunch of other stuff in here for the builder itself, I guess, but uh, I'm just gonna look at the values that I have from the REST API. And here's all those, those fields there. So there's title, right? And there's rendered. And so let's, uh, let's save that. And just like that, it has pulled in the most recent titles uh, of the blog. So there's uh, Devinder Singh, Mina Tamang. So if I go to the WP Tavern website and go to, that's the most recent one there, number 125 dash Devinder Singh. And then there's, uh, there's some more people. There's Jamie Marsland. Uh, so Right, so then it's pulling in all those posts, right? So we have the titles. Let's get the rest of the data in. I can click on the paragraph and I can come again to the content source and we'll come to the value. We'll come to, uh, I guess, excerpt, right? We want the rendered excerpt in there. So let's save that. And finally, the image. So I can come to, again, the source of the image and click on my variable and I will come down to my values and we see here featured media. So I'll hit save on that. And you can see nothing's there. And that tells me that the uh, featured media is not there, right? So uh, I can click on the source again and I'll go to value. And uh, if I scroll down a bit, there's featured media, but let's keep going. If I come down here, there's a Jetpack featured media URL. So it seems like they're using Jetpack. So I will select that as the source and hit save. And there, there's my featured image pulled in directly from the WP Tavern website. Of course, I can you know come on the uh, image here and uh, whatever, just put that down a little bit. But uh, but yeah, we've got basically got our our loop grid with a single item uh, pulled in dynamically with an REST API uh, from WordPress. And so you can connect WordPress to this. You can connect um, other other API sources, of course, too. Um, so. One thing I notice here, there's like this, the dash character is broken. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but this is how I fixed it. Uh, I went to settings and the content, and basically it's doing the title, the rendered title content, but I'm gonna add another function. And there's a bunch of functions in here. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can see it. I can't, I don't have my zoom thing turned on, but um, you can start typing. And I, I basically just was like scrolling through here and found this uh, search and replace. So I can type in uh, uh, search. What is it? What am I searching for? Where is it? It's uh, where is it? Replace. There it is. Replace. And then there's a little um, things that we put it in. Basically, there's two little quotes. And so I want to replace the weird broken characters. Um, you know, what is it? this and then pound sign and then eight two one one semicolon and so i'll hit save on there and that'll remove the characters not sure if this is the way you're supposed to do it in here but that's how uh, i did it i'll do the same thing on the paragraph you can see there's some p tags in there so i can say replace uh the um, p tag with nothing and i will copy that and hit save and open it up again and do another function for the closing p tag and hit save and so now it's gone um but in any case we do have you know there's some other broken characters in there but i'm not going to go through all that but yeah we have a rendered grid uh from an external api directly on this uh page so you know you can publish this and uh it's now live you can add a custom domain um but anyway i just wanted to show Kind of how that workflow works it's directly in the builder with an api uh, call that's pretty straightforward i like that there's the little helper menus uh, for like the functions i think this is pretty helpful it gives you kind of a little overview of what all they do they have a bunch of other functions in here to set up more complex sort of uh, queries or, or sort of uh, variable uh, url type stuff so uh, there's a quick demo of that so I just wanted to take a look at, um, yeah, about at the REST API. Again, I also installed the collections thing here. So like you can come and make a new collection of movies or whatever. So this would be like the same thing as a custom post type or a, you know, custom CMS item. 
right? So you can start adding sections, um, whatever you can call this content and you can start adding fields within there. So they, they have a smaller number, I would say of custom fields to select, but there are relational, there's some, um, you know, Boolean, whatever, true and false things, there's date picker, there's a repeater. So, you know, there's definitely some options uh, available here to you. So, you know, whatever, this would be the, the title of the movie and you have some, some custom stuff you can add in there. So um, anyway, that was just a quick one. Again, this is Div Hunt. They have some kind of launch plan going on right now. I don't really know anything about them, to be honest. We learned about them yesterday, but I uh, just wanted to show kind of more like what we can expect hopefully from interfaces from builders moving forward and kind of conceptually thinking more in terms of uh, components and, and using custom things like queryable URLs and, and like uh, some of these more advanced features I think uh, are gonna be, especially when it's as easy, you know, as I said, I figured it out in a couple minutes watching one of the videos. So uh, I think it's pretty cool to be able to um, to, to be able to just like, as I said, come in here, create these loops that are external, right? These are, this is no contents, not living on your website at this point. Uh, so it's, you know, kind of approaching, uh, headless, headless CMS type, um, stuff. So anyway, that's that I'm going to cut it and have a good weekend, everyone.